Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today you join me in my kitchen. Uh, my treadmill's in the kitchen in front of the oven, but that's for another day, like I said in my last video actually. Um, but yeah, so I bought a Bentley Bentayga. Um, I can't actually show you the car right now, guys. I, I'm gonna have to go downstairs and get it out, but not yet. So basically, a quick story about this car right now. I bought the car, um, well actually, oh shit, I've already vlogged it. I forgot I've already vlogged buying the car. So okay, I bought a Bentley that I can't drive. That's the new title of the video. Um, I actually like forgot that I recorded it. I'm that like lost. I haven't been outside the house for two days, so I'm like just bare confused. But yeah, so I bought a Bentley Bentayga, uh, and I can't really drive it. The reason being, I can't get it in and out of my lift at where I live at this uh, in the penthouse. So um, I'm not sure if you've seen any of my previous videos how my cars come up and down. Hello. Okay, so I literally just received a call. Um, <clears throat> the engineer's here now. He's come from somewhere up north. I don't know where from. But yeah, so my car's heavy. Um, the car like won't come up and down the lift. It did once for some reason, but after that it didn't. So the other day, um, what happened was it was midnight. We were going to go to London. Um, I had to drop my friend back off and I couldn't get the car back out, like the car would not come out of the lift. So uh, what happens is it goes from flashing green to flashing red and um, it's just, like the whole lift was jammed. So the car will not like leave the car park and it's just annoying because now, uh, no, so then the guy, the manager here told me that maybe like with the fuel being low in the car, if it has less fuel, it might be fine. So we tried it and I'll try to take the car out today because I was going to London again. Um, it wouldn't come out, so <clears throat> I can't literally take the car like, when I want to take it. So now I've got to figure out what I do because now the lift is jammed, nobody that lives here can take their cars out, put their cars in whatsoever, and it's annoying because, like, what the fuck? So I've got to make a decision now. Do I buy another car? Do I move up somewhere else? Um, I don't know what to do now because I bought the, obviously, I bought the Bentley, but I can't drive the Bentley. Like, like I can park it next door to be honest in the car park, but I don't want to leave my car in the NCP car park because I've been there a few times where like people have smashed windows on cars and robbed them and I don't really want to be leaving a Bentley there. I have like see, I've got other cars I can drive that way in the lift, but the Bentley was meant to be my daily car. Um like I've made arrangements to like my brother can have this car, my dad can have this car to drive Like So now like the Bentley was there for me to drive on my daily and the Lambo for whenever I want to have some fun. Um, but yeah, so now I've got a Bentley, I can't drive up. Maybe in 10-15 ten, in ten, minutes when the guy's downstairs he'll fix it and my car can come out. But um, yeah, I've literally got a call to do. I was supposed to be out two hours ago. Um, the other day I was supposed to be out. Like It's just an annoyance. Um, I've recorded a three minute video for you guys. You're always asking for me for more videos, so here's just some extra to add. But um, yeah, so I will go downstairs. Hopefully the car will be down. Hopefully I can take it out. Um, I don't know what else we're doing, but um, yeah, I'll record whatever I get up to. But I will show you the car now because I actually love the car so much. It's like the best car I've ever had. Okay, so here is the Bentley. Um, the lights are still flashing red, so I've been told I can't take the car out until it flashes green because the last person that did that, well, some, somebody did that and they went down into the lift because the shutters closed down and she was in there for 20 minutes. So I do not want to be downstairs stuck for 20, 30 minutes with a big drop. So that's the car. I can't actually go in yet. So I've been waiting for like literally four or five hours now. And yeah, I can't even show you the car, which is what the whole video is about. Imagine having all these cars here yeah, and like you always have an issue. Like my Lambo is too wide to fit in this car park and my Bentley is too heavy. So now this has been blocked for the next few hours. So I can't take my car out. Luckily I've got other cars, but if I didn't I'd be fucked now. Like it happened the other day as well. What if there was an emergency? Fucking hell, I'm so glad that I've got another car. Um what car do I take? No, the cars are not gonna come out. Fuck so Guys, so we are actually in the car finally after all these hours and we can go. Um, it's just the longest way, but I am so happy now that I'm sat in the car. Like, no car makes me as happy as this. I've got to go fill up now 
and then we can get off because I don't know if I mentioned it or oh, fuck's sake, tire pressure's low as well. Oh my god.